Wow, take a look at that flag, guys. Isn't that gorgeous? It's the beautiful Canadian flag. Right now, it's flying at full mast. It's flying at, well, that's bright. Look at that bright sun there. I just stepped into the uh, the direct sunlight and it, it blinded me. <laughs> but um, do you guys know the terms full mast and half mast? Okay, so we use we use these words for for flags. Okay, so the pole. Okay, take a look at this pole here. The pole is called the mast. Okay, maybe you know, uh, maybe you've heard the word mast from a ship. Okay, uh, a ship's mast. Okay, well this is the flag's mast here. Okay, so so right now the flag is at full mast. That means it's right at the top. Okay, but sometimes in Canada and other countries around the world, uh, sometimes the flags are flown at half mast. Okay, do you know what that means? Well, that means that the country is in a in in a period of mourning. Okay, so if you ever see the flag sort of at half mast, halfway down the pole, that means something bad has happened or or the community that the country is is remembering something okay i'll give you an example imagine if if someone important dies uh, let's let's say justin trudeau would die okay then all the flags in canada would be lowered to half mast okay so right now it's at full mast they would be lowered to half mast but um if i died then then the flags would be raised to extra mast. <laughs> Everyone would be celebrating. Yes, we got rid of that guy. Finally, we, we got rid of him. Trudeau would be celebrating. I'm sure Trudeau would be happy if I died because, you know, I always make fun of Trudeau and, and his socks. So yeah, it's, uh, you know, if, if like dignitaries, you know, what a dignitary is. A dignitary is like uh, an important person. Okay, so, you know, if someone really important, like for example, the prime minister. Oh, hey, take a look at those cool clouds. Those orange, isn't that amazing? It's like orange and then sort of blue and gray. You can see the, the sunset over there. You can see the, the cool arch that's called a Chinook, right? Actually, this building is sort of blocking it and, and those houses. Maybe I can back up if I, if I back up or maybe if I go over there, then you'll see. Anyway, it's, a, it's an arch. That cloud sort of makes an arch. That's when the air comes over the mountains. Like over there, there are the Rocky Mountains. So the air comes over and it uh, it pushes the clouds this way, right? So it makes like a nice arch. Usually that means warmer weather is on the way right now. Man, it's cold. It's, uh, I think it's July 25th today. So it's like right in the middle of the summer. Oh, hey, I see a rabbit. But I'll finish talking about this first. Um, so yeah, right now it's end of July, middle of the summer. And it's cold out here. I would say it's... Uh, I would say it's about 10 degrees, maybe even maybe even single digits. Okay, uh, single digits are from like one to nine or zero, right? W digit means number. Okay, so if it's uh, if we usually use that for temperature, if something is if if a temperature is is in single digits, like if we say it drops down, the temperature drops down to single digits at night. That means we're talking about like it might drop down to, you know, eight or nine degrees. And then 10 is double digits, right? One, zero. So 10 to 10 to 99 would be double digits. And then 100, you know, would be would be triple digits. <sighs> anyway, what was I saying about the um, about the politicians? Yeah, the dignitaries. So if someone important dies, like a prime minister or a, I'm sure the president, does your country have a president or a bugs are flying in get away from me stupid bugs does your does your country have a president or a prime minister uh, or maybe uh, a chancellor or uh, a chairman <laughs> or uh, what, what's the name of your leader you know if, if your leader would die I'm sure it, even in your country you know the flags would be lowered to half mast so those are just the the words I wanted to teach you today full mast and half mast. I don't know. Is there a 
is there a little uh, a little dash or a little little hyphen between I'm not sure I'm not sure if uh, if half mast and full mast are two separate words or if there is um you know a little a little hyphen or a dash what's the difference between a hyphen and a dash I can't remember off uh, off the top of my head oh hey I found a better view of the of the arch see it's uh, sort of from there to there can see it it's I don't know it's not a perfect example but uh, you can see it a bit better from here I found a picnic table look at this cute little picnic table I found isn't that nice I hear a plane somewhere up there trying to ruin my video you stupid planes but anyway I uh, hope you guys are having a great day I just wanted to teach you uh, those words uh, full mast half mast uh, dignitary that's uh, three words is that it did you learn any more words can't remember but anyway it's uh it's a bit cold out here so i'm gonna go home and make myself a warm cup of tea well hope you guys are having a great day and uh, i'll sign out from here in beautiful canada is your country beautiful today i'm so thankful just to to live in such a beautiful country here take a look isn't that awesome well guys take care have a great day and as always i'll see you over in the next episode of Mad English TV. <laughs> Take care.